Welcome to uh, GoGoNet Live. I'd like to uh, thank you for being here. You are our uh, live audience. Um, I'd also like to thank all our speakers who have come from all over the, the world, literally, to, uh, to present to you today and tomorrow and, and also uh, yesterday. And I'd also like to thank our sponsors, our gold sponsors, Juniper and Infoblocks, as well as A10 and Brocade and um, Arbor Networks and Groupware and Six Connect. Without them, uh, we'd have a very hard time doing this conference. So the focus of the event today, it's called Trials and Tribulations. What we wanted to do was create a focus conference that was on a specific topic. Currently, over 80% of GoGoNet's 55,000, 56,000 members are either in the research phase or they're in the testing phase of IPv6 deployment. Um, the numbers are actually there, so we have around 18,000, 19,000 people researching. So this is investigating, going to the social network, um, trying to get data. And then we have testing, and testing often it's, it's in the home network. Um, we recently did a poll of our, of our members and it was something like 75% of them were doing test, IPv6 testing in their home because they weren't given the opportunity to do IPv6 testing at their job, but they knew that ultimately they would be the ones that would be responsible once, uh, once they had to implement it. So there might be a lot of you in the room here today. Um, so, and there's around 28,000. So, so the reason, so that's the next step. So the next step after you do your researching and your testing is to do a trial, which is why we want to get a little bit ahead of the curve here. So yesterday we began with the hands-on workshops. Um, we had a great lecture, uh, started off the day, and then we had three concurrent, lecture, uh, three concurrent workshops, a lot of hands-on. I think uh, people appreciated that. Today we're going to start off with some keynote addresses that I'll be introducing. Um, we have case studies, uh, so we have two keynote addresses. We have Eve Pop, my friend from a long time, where is Eve? And, and uh, we have uh, Chris Chase, who I just met for the first time, who is the chair of Nanog. Uh, we have seven case studies, I believe. Uh, we have case studies from um, AT&T. We have Telecom Italia. We have um, Spaywar, as well as um, Luke is from Laurentian University in Canada, and we have, we'll have a case study from, Missouri, uh, from University of Missouri as well. After that, we have a presentation on what we came up, again, through the social network, what we came up with, I think it's around 10, 11, or 12 steps of the different steps to do an IPv6 trial. So again, as opposed to finding presenters and having them present what they normally present, we actually slotted, went the other way, and we determined the, 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 the functional steps and found the appropriate presenters uh, for that. And so, you know, from a step that starts from building a test lab, choosing your solution for your trial, uh, developing a plan for evaluating vendors and products, very important, um, network inventory, address planning and acquisition. These are all things that you'll have to go through. Uh, adding IPv6 support to your core network, IPv6 transit and peering, and then security for your trial, forensics for your trial, and then finally we'll do one on mobile and cellular um, network trialing. We're also going to have some presentations from the leading IPv6 vendors because when you start your trial, you need products to do it. Um, we have uh, presenting um, tomorrow will be Juniper, Infoblox, A10, GoGo6, and as well as Brocade. So GoGoNet Live is a mashup of the GoGoNet social network and the live event that we're at here today. Um, the purpose of GoGoNet and GoGoNet Live is to connect people together. Um, they all have a common, IP, connect people to have a common IPv6 interest so they can learn from each other. Now, the common interest that we have today is how to do an IPv6 trial. So what we've done is we brought together all some of, the, some of the most knowledgeable people in the world on IPv6 on the different steps of doing an IPv6 trial so that you can meet them. Now live here, the way you meet them, the interface to meet them is well, in the halls, you know, at the lunch break, um, 
and uh, just, around, just around the conference. But where the GoGoNet part comes in is, is virtually is to, the interface to meet the people is through the agenda. So for example, you, f you, s you find a topic that you're interested in, you know, in this case, choosing solutions for your trial. You then identify who the speaker is. You, you click on their profile. So each speaker is a member of the GoGoNet social network, and, and most people, and I think everybody here is as well. You then, you then send a message to them directly. Now, they'll, they'll request that you become friends. So this is just so people aren't getting messages from everybody. So you describe, hey, I'm interested in your work in this area. I'm doing this and this. I'd like to talk. And then you become friends with them, and then you have that connection. So, so using the agenda for, in this particular case, for doing an IPv6 trial will allow you to meet up with people from all over the world that have done what you're doing, what you're about to do, and will be able to help you out. And that's, and that's really the function of, of both GoGoNet and the GoGoNet Live social network. Now, friends is kind of a funny statement, is funny, it's kind of a funny term in the context of, uh, at least in a business context. So let me just uh, play this video here. What is the matter with you? What do you mean? I mean, I looked at your profile and you have no friends. That's not true. I am friends with the six. The six? That's just GoGo6, the company. Well, I feel a little nervous about sending a friend request to people I don't know. Well, don't be GoGoNet is a professional social network, not a dating site. In this context, sending out a friend request is about making a technical or business contact. Once you are friends, then each other will know whenever the other does something on the social network. Okay. If you only made friends with people you knew already, what would be the point? Even better, when you are friends, you can send each other private messages without knowing each other's email address. Okay, I will get right to it. But, what does it mean if you get their actual email address? You're dating. <laughs> so more the point is, <laughs> don't, don't be afraid to, to reach out. People are on, the, are on the GoGoNet social network to actually meet other people, to discuss what they're doing, and uh, the friend is really, is really just to make a business contact. Okay. With that, I'd like to introduce uh, Latif Ladid. Uh, Latif has been tirelessly working as an IPv6 advocate for, for probably as many years as anyone else uh, in the world. Um, he has come here um, from, from um, um, Luxembourg, just drew a blank, um, and uh, he'll be presenting um, uh, the next topic. So let me introduce Latif. Thank you. Thank you.